Hi, Dr. Theo here. Today for our training, we're gonna do a workout called Cindy Squared. Now Cindy Squared is divided up into five two minute windows for a total of a 10 minute workout. Now, at the beginning of each two minute window, we're gonna start with five double arm rows, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. Once you've completed those three movements, then you can rest for whatever time you've got remaining in your two minute window. When the next two minutes starts, we repeat that and we do it for a total of five rounds. Your score at the end of the session will be how long it takes you to do the last round of the workout. So in that eight to 10 minute window, how long does it take you to do your double arm rows, your push-ups, and your air squats? And that'll be the score that you record. Okay, so let's have a look at the movements. So for double arm rows, if, we're, if you're not using a weight, broomstick handle, leaning forwards, bringing that up to your chest, and back down again. And that's one double arm row. And again, pulling up to the chest, and back down. Now, if you're ready for some weight, and you want to use that for the workout, you can use your water cans, and that would look like this. Again, slight knee bend, flexing at the hips, and then pulling upwards, and let them come down. Or if you've got some hand weights, this is how it would look. Again, a little bit of knee bend, hinge at the hips, and then pull up. Okay. Now for our push-ups, a couple of options. If we're doing a full complete push-up, we're down on the ground, hands slightly wider than shoulders, feet back together, nice and tight, try and keep our body nice and straight, lower ourselves to the ground. Once we've reached the ground, then push back up. So again, for the push-up, and up. Now, a way to scale that is to come down onto your knees. Once we're on our knees, we can now come down to the ground and then push back up. And again, and back up. Now, a further option for scaling is we can do it upright using a wall. The advantage of using a wall is that we can determine what angle we use as to how hard that push-up is going to be. The further back your feet are from the wall, the greater the effort required to do that push-up. So with my feet all the way back, I can now come in and push back out. Whereas if I bring myself closer, less range of motion, and it's an easier movement, but you're still getting the stimulus that I want you to get in terms of that upper body movement. Now, our last movement is the air squat. An air squat without support looks like this, feet shoulder width apart, as we squat down, arms in front, and then back up. Nice and deep, and then back up. Now, if that depth isn't appropriate for you, use a chair or a stool or a bench that's at a height that you feel comfortable squatting down to. And this is how it will look. In front of that chair or bench, coming down, reaching the chair at the bottom, and then coming back up. And back up. Okay, that's our workout for today. Let's get ourselves ready, and we'll start on the first two minutes. Let's go. Okay, so five double arm rows to start with. All right, let's go. And one more. Good, well done. All right, 10 push-ups now. That's two.
That's five. Two to go. All right, that's 10. Now let's do 15 air squats. Nice controlled descent. Nice strong rise up. Okay, that's 10. Two more. Good, all right, rest. So, 24 seconds left. Now, if that pace was a little bit slow for you, feel free to speed it up. I want you to go as fast as you can to get as much rest as possible. All right, let's start. And one. And five, good, nice and strong. Let's do our push-ups. Keep a nice, tight core all the way up and down. Two more. Okay. Let's do those air squats. And one. That's five. That's 10. And 15, good, all right. Grab your breath, 25 seconds rest. So like I said, this is an ideal workout that gives you the chance to pace yourself. We've got five rounds to complete, you're now feeling what the workout's like, you know whether you need to go a little bit slower for the next couple of rounds or whether you can speed it up. Remember, that speed is where we get the benefits. Stop. All right. And one. Three, four, and five. Good work. All right, let's get 10 strong push-ups. That's five. Good, all right, let's do those air squats. And down. Let's try and get nice and deep if you're not using a chair. Halfway. One more. All right, that's three rounds done. 
So you've broken the back of the workout now. Only two rounds to go. Almost on the home stretch. All right, let's grab our breath. Get ready for those next double arm rows. Okay, in five seconds. Start. Let's go. Nice, tight back. Squeeze those shoulder blades as you lift up. Good. Okay, let's do some push-ups. That's five. One more. Good. Okay, 15 air squats. That's 10. And 15. Okay, last round's coming up. You've put in all the hard work. Now this is time where you're gonna reap the dividend. So remember, this one's for points. This is our score, so. Go as fast as you want, as fast as you can, because that's going to determine what your score is for today's workout. Stop. And one, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, 10 push ups. One. Two, three, and five. And eight. Good, nice and strong. Let's finish off. 15 air squats, make them look really good. Let's go. That's it, almost there. All right, five more, four more, three to go, two left. Let's get that one more rep and we're done. Congratulations, well done. If you haven't finished yet, keep pushing. Still got 30 seconds left. Remember, this one's where it counts. All right, 20 seconds left. Let's see what you got. Keep going if you haven't finished yet. Doing a really good job. Okay, 10 seconds. Finish off strong, really good. And get ready. Finish, All right, that's it. Well done, you did really well. This is a great workout, all of body. Really proud of you, congratulations.